Mr. Masterson, your attorneys have filed a demur in this case. I have just set a briefing schedule. That demur will be litigated very likely at the next court date. Do you understand that you have the absolute right to be present at that hearing and give up that right and agree that your attorneys can appear on your behalf? Yes, Your Honor. And the 977B has been lodged and is formally accepted. On the docket, the case against Danny Masterson, and you may not have recognized him inside that courtroom. You probably recognized his attorney more than him, the, the attorney with the flowing white hair, uh, which is Tom Mesereau, legendary attorney out in California. He does cases all over the country, uh, one of the best criminal defense attorneys in the nation, uh, represented Michael Jackson years ago. Um, he's representing Danny Masterson, who is a uh, former star of That 70s Show, and He's in a heap of trouble right now because he's accused of, of raping three women between 2001 and 2003, and that is during that time when he is a big-time TV star and an incredibly popular show. And now it's years later, and he is going to be uh, facing trial on all this. So uh, serious, serious charges. Let's bring in our special guest tonight, joining us from Los Angeles, California, Editor and publisher of CrimeStory.com and the Crime Story podcast, our friend Carrie Antholis. Carrie, great to see you again. Good to see you too, Vinny. All right, for people who are not familiar with the allegations here, you know, I briefly said three different women, um, but it goes back in time, right? This is in the middle of, of his heyday during that 70s show. Yes, yes, Vinny. Um, these three women uh, all allege that, that Danny Masterson raped them, sexually assaulted them in the early 2000s. Um, and the reason that they give for not having come to the police sooner is that the Church of Scientology, uh, which Danny Masterson is a, is a member of, and which these women were also, at least two of these women were also members of, intervened and tried to mitigate the, and and mediate the um, accusations. And so what you have is three basic issues going on here, or three basic struggles or tensions going on here. You have the Me Too issue of women wanting their voices heard and have ha having them suppressed for so long versus Danny Masterson's due process rights, because you know, these incidents took place 20 years ago, as you said. Then you have a struggle between a big organization like the Church of Scientology or, you know, a, a, and in other instances, it may be the Catholic Church or a big television network against um, individuals who are trying to bring complaints in the ordinary course of the process. And then you have a media celebrity against his privacy rights and his rights to a fair trial and getting an impartial jury. And so all of these things have been at play in these early in these early phases of the um, of the hearings. And we're talking about charges here. We're talking was it 45 years to a potential life sentence? Yeah, it, it's it's um, uh, it's yeah. If they give him three consecutive. Uh, 15 year sentences it's 45 years and but but because it has a potential of a life sentence there is no statute of limitations that's how the prosecution um, filed the indictment so long after the incidents happened and a judge ruled that that um, the that masterson's uh, uh, pleading that the statute of limitations should apply was was denied and this case is going forward all right, Tom Mesereau is his attorney. That was Michael Jackson's attorney. We've seen him plenty of times. He's been a guest on, on my show plenty of times as well. Uh, he's still the attorney uh, for Masterson? Yes, he and Sharon Applebaum uh, are, are co-counsel on this. And you and I have spoken about this before, Vinny, but usually Tom Mesereau is very out front with the press and talking to them about the case. He does press conferences on the footsteps of the courthouse. He's known for those. But in this case, he's been very tight-lipped, and he has pled multiple times to deny access to the media on this case. Uh, so far, the judges have um, denied those motions, and, uh, and 
under the um, principle that sunlight is the best disinfectant and uh, that uh, people who are interested in this case should have direct access to the information about the case. Now, Danny Masterson, you know, I remember him from the show. I don't remember him doing much afterwards. He may have done a lot. I don't know. Um, I, I, I just don't recall seeing him in other roles, but it was a wildly successful show. But this was yeah. years ago. The show's been off the air for a while. It's in syndication, so I'm sure he's still getting checks. But what's his life like right now? Because back then, you're a star, you're young. I get it. Um, now he's a little bit older. Not old, but older. What's his life set up now? I mean, is he married? Does he have kids? What's, what's his situation? He, 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 he is married. He, um, he, he, at the begin when these charges were filed, he was on a Netflix show. Um, and uh, Netflix, when the allegation, when they looked into the allegations, um, found enough merit in them to fire him from the show. So, I, beyond that, I I don't know um, I don't know what his financial circumstances are. Um, he's engaged in a civil lawsuit with um, the three women who have filed filed the criminal charges, as well as another uh, woman and um, some other folks who are his co-defendants in that, including the Church of Scientology. Um, and so in terms of resources to fight this, um, I, I don't know exactly where he's getting them from, but um, certainly in the civil litigation, he's, uh, he's got uh, co-defendants who are very well funded. So did he have any sort of reputation in, in Hollywood? I mean, you're out in L.A., you know, I, I don't know. It seems like maybe he's a guy who was under the radar if he's part of the Church of Scientology. But uh, anything, any indication prior to this happening? Uh, I, about that, Vinny, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think within the sphere of Scientology, there have been, you know, people who are critics of Scientology have made allegations and have issued rumors. But so, this was nothing that, you know, during my time as a network executive that I ever heard about um, in the course of conversations. But then again, I never hired uh, or was involved in a production that hired Danny to be in the show. So um, I, uh, I'm not familiar with what his reputation was out there. Carrie Anthol, it's always great to have you on. CrimeStory.com and, and the Crime Story podcast. Make sure you check it out. All right, folks, we continue to track this one. Uh, we've got an arraignment and a plea that is now scheduled for January 6th, 2021.